Oh yeah, she ready, boy. She ready. Yo, what's up, playboys? Welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, today's the third third video for you guys, but fourth tune for me. In today's fourth tune, I'm gonna put the email that y'all sent me. Um, we're gonna be doing our first pull from 2K RPM all the way to 7800 um, RPMs. So, man, that's gonna be fun. The last time I even revved that high was when I was on third tune, and that's when I was on stock injectors making 215. So, yeah, man, we're gonna see the difference. Well, obviously, it's not gonna be too much of a difference because this is the first pull, so he still has to make adjustments and stuff, but it should feel freaking good. Well, it should feel nice. So, I'm gonna stop all the talking and let's get into the action. Let's go find a place to do this pull. Let's get it. All right, guys, so let's get this going. I know you guys are gonna complain about the, the drone, but I can't fix that because Dusty is a rowdy car. She likes to be heard, and I like, I like when she likes to be heard, so. Um, I'm gonna go fill up the tank with some gas because I only have 60 miles, 59 miles until E. And you know, when you're tuning a car, sometimes you run a little bit rich, sometimes you run a little bit lean. So it's always good to have a little bit extra gas because you don't know how fast that gas is gonna burn. So I'm just gonna go uh, fill her up real quick just to be on the safe side. Cause that's, that 59 miles could go down once I do that pull. Once I do that pull, I think I might drive down to 20. You don't know, so. A uh, quick little gas station stop just to fill her up real quick. Get like at least half a tank. And then uh, we should be on our way to find somewhere to do the pull. Most likely a highway cause I don't believe doing pulls on the streets. I don't know about you guys, but the ethanol gauge looks so nice in my car. Like, especially since I have it right here, it's just it's clean. It's a clean ass look. Beautiful look, man. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with this? Super with some gas. I hate the smell of 93. I can't wait till I start smelling E85. Yeah, let me get my receipt, bro. Nah. But I don't know about you guys, but I hate the smell of 93 with a passion. I feel like this is the worst smelling gas. I'd rather have diesel in my car than having 93. It's just the, the smell of it is just terrible. I forgot I have baby wipes. I don't know about you guys, but I have sweaty hands. Um, so when I use like sanitizer, it makes my sweaty hands even worse. So now I have baby wipes. So when I use baby wipes, my hands don't sweat as as uh, as much as it does with sanitizer. But yeah, baby wipes for the win. Oh, our boy, boy net broken. Our boy seen the whip. He said, "Damn." they've been guys there anything to your car let me know down below always interested on in what you guys do so guys there anything cool to your car comment it down below Oh, 
should be straight. Dusty felt a little weird, but I'm guessing that's just the road. topics they wanted me to talk about and uh a lot of you guys kept asking me like why did i choose yosh aka josh over handy and there's no real different like there's no real preference i say on why i chose him i just picked yosh because like i said he is a supporter of the channel he does watch my videos i seen his work i like his work so I wanted to give him a shot. Simple as that. Like, I don't have to stay with the same tuner throughout the whole life of Dusty. Like, it's okay to experience different tuners. If their work is good and you like their work, go give them a shot. Who cares if the, the tuner is going to talk crap about you, your previous tuner, or people who watch the videos who like that tuner is going to talk crap about you. Who give a crap? It's, it's, you're not tuning your car for them. You're tuning your car for yourself. They're not going to fix your car when it's broken. So that's the reason why I wanted to Yash instead of handy handy tunes are amazing they're great they're reliable i love handy tunes handy's a good guy but like i just recently said personal personal preference i will i wanted to go with yash i seen his work i like his work and from what people tell me his tunes are really good and from what i'm seeing from personal experience they are pretty good um i seen people in real life who has his tunes race other people so I was like you know it's cool to see that to see how their tunes well how, how their car is running on his tunes and I also see people with handy like man si a but the boosted uh knife gen but he has a type R now um a couple a couple of small other people that I follow I see their cars running with the same tuner as hand well the same tuner handy and then I have a couple other people I follow that uses Yash so yeah man it's nothing 
month up to 78,000 RPM. Not, I keep saying 78,000, 7,800 RPM. Boy, that was, that was, uh, that was something. Let's see what Hondata's saying. Hopefully Hondata's saying, uh, everything's okay. There's no knocks. All right. Yeah, boy. That was a good pull. Woo. That was kind of scary. But boy, that felt nice. I can't wait to see how, how she feels, bro. Ah, but like, this is such a, such a just, this is such a rush, like, woo. If you guys are planning on getting your car e-tuned or street tuned, do it, bro. It is so fun. Wow. Woo. But boy, boy, that was, my heart was beeping. I thought, I thought I was revving the 10,000 the way Dusty was sounding, boy. Well, I guess I felt nervous because I haven't revved her that high since I was on Dirt Tune. So, it felt weird. It felt weird revving, revving her that high. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so I'm headed home now. We're going to go look at that log and see what it's saying, see what it looks like. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's just a challenger. I mean, just a charger. But yeah, like I was saying, we're going to head on home and uh, look at this log and see what it's talking about, see what it looks like. I'm hoping I, I stepped on the pedal at 2,000 RPM. I feel like I stepped on it at like 2,100. But I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, man. See you at the grid. Alright, guys. So this is where I'm going to have the video. I already sent off the data log to, uh, to Josh. So there's no point in me even showing you guys how to do it. If, if you guys watched the last video, you guys seen how I did it. So, uh, yeah, man. We're one step closer on being on E85. Uh, he just sent me my new tune. Um, I have to do a couple of daily driving logs and then uh, one pull, like the same pull I did in this video. And then after that, we should be set for us to do some uh, E85 pulls. So yeah, man, the next couple of videos should be me on E85 and uh, just adjusting stuff and cranking out a little bit more time so I can make a little bit more power. And obviously, if I don't need no power, I just use it for the cooling benefits and stuff like that. But yeah, man, I'm I'm really excited. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy, but. Yeah, I can't even like, I just can't wait so I could really rip, rip on her because she's not, she's not fully ready, but she's, she's moving, she's feeling, not moving, but she's feeling good. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow the boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda, and boys out, peace.